Transcribed. The Kraft Foods Company presents Willard Waterman as the Great Gildersleeve. This leave is brought to you each week at this time by the Kraft Foods Company. Kraft, a name that for years has meant fine cheese, is the maker of the new Kraft Deluxe Slices of wonderful pasteurized processed cheese. These slices are perfect. No dried edges, no broken pieces, because they're wrapped right in the spick and span Kraft plant. You'll find Kraft is delicious processed cheese in slices in neat half-pound packages in your grocer's dairy case. Eight big slices in every package. Tomorrow, take home some of these convenient packages and get acquainted with Kraft Deluxe Slices, the most delicious processed cheese you've ever tasted. On New Year's Eve, the great Gildersleeve persuaded Rumson Bullard, his wealthy neighbor, to take a date off his hands. They've been on the go ever since, and Bullard is really living. But we don't know how long Gildersleeve can last. Good night, Miss Milford. Good night, Rumson. Both you boys didn't have to see me to the door. Well, I like to be around pretty girls as long as possible. Oh. <laughs> Isn't he gallant, Strockmorton? He sure, sure. <laughs> Just think, tonight I've had the privilege of seeing two beautiful ladies to their doors. My date, Miss Chase, and now you. How lucky can a man be? Oh, Robson. <laughs> you corny character, you used the same line last night. It's been a wonderful evening. Good night, Throckmorton. Good night. Oh. This is the one time I'm even glad to say good night to Catherine. Wait a minute. Let's not say good night yet. Let's all go to Joe's Beanery for chili and beans. Oh, my goodness. Good bullet. It's after midnight. Well, just the shank of the evening. What do you say, Catherine? Oh, I couldn't possibly. I need my beauty sleep. Yeah. Yeah, I mean... Well, if sleep is the source of beauty, Catherine, you obviously sleep more than most women. Oh, Mr. Bowler. <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> well, Gildersleeve, why don't you and I swing by on the way home? Now, Bullard, let's not overdo this. But the beanery is very lively this time of night. It caters to playboys and truck drivers. You, well, this playboy is going to truck on home. Gildersleeve ain't down yet, Miss Marjorie? No, Bertie. He was out late last night. Again? That man. <laughs> when I came down, he was taking a cold shower trying to wake up. Poor Unky. Mr. Bullard's leading him a merry chase. Yeah, Unk must be bushed. When he turned the shower on cold, he didn't even yell. <laughs> I hear him stumbling down the stairs now. I'll go start his bacon and eggs. I think I'll put my last prune in his dish. He needs the energy. Good morning, Anki. Good morning, Marjorie. Hi, Anki. Good morning, Leroy. Good morning, Bronco. Open your eyes, Unc. Bronco isn't here. Who? Oh? Where is he? He went to work half an hour ago. Yeah, you're late. Yeah, I know, Leroy. Bronco was so cute this morning, Anki. He said he wanted to get as much work done as possible before our baby comes next month. Who? Oh? And he says he'll get up and give the baby his two o'clock formula while I sleep. But why not let Unc feed the baby at two o'clock? What's this, Leroy? You'll be just coming in. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, let me pour your coffee, Anki. Yeah, thank you, my dear. Ooh. <laughs> Quite a glare on the coffee this morning. You can't keep up with Mr. Bullard, Uncle Mort. You know? Well, you have to get up and go to the water department while he can sleep till noon. Yeah, he's retired and you're just tired. <laughs> now, children, I can stay on my feet as long as Bullard can. 
Unk doesn't want Miss Milford to know he's slow enough. Leroy, I'm not slowing up. But every morning you come down half asleep. Yeah, I'm not half asleep. I'm wide awake. Yeah? Then why are you putting jelly on your napkin? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> well, it was on my plate where my toast usually is. Jelly on his napkin. <laughs> Leroy, don't laugh at Uncle Moore. <laughs> Sure, sure. Hi, Miss Gilsey. Here's your breakfast. Yeah, thank you very much. What's everybody laughing at? Punch, punchy. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Gilsey sure started something when he got Mr. Bullard to going out. You know, Bertie. Yes, yeah, sir. That man's got you burned the candle at both ends. It isn't that bad, Bertie. You better slow down, Mr. Gilsey. We don't want the water commissioner to be put out of commission because he's burning the candle at both ends. Yeah, all right, Bertie. Yes, yeah, sir. If you keep burning the candle at both ends, the water commissioner's going to be put out of commission. Bertie, please. Mr. Gilsey, you know what happened if you keep burning the candle at both ends? Yes, Bertie. Right. Right, the water commissioner will be put out of commission. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that birdie sure hates to give up an idea. <laughs> yeah, pass the napkin. Yeah, I mean the toast. Give me a cup of coffee, Peavy. I didn't get to finish mine at home. Yeah, so? Yeah, there was a lot of noise around the house this morning. <laughs> Your Christmas bills arrived? It, it wasn't that, Peavy. No. Uh, is the new baby here? No. Marjorie isn't expecting the baby until February. Well, February is a good month. We had Washington and Lincoln in February. Yeah. How about the coffee, Peavy? Coming up. I was a July baby myself. Pretty hot months to get a start in. <laughs> I had prickly heat, so they tell me. Peavy, you're still holding my coffee. Oh. <laughs> well, here you are, Mr. Gildersleeve. Uh, thank you. Uh, I can't seem to wake up this morning. I take it you've been going out quite a little lately, Mr. Gildersleeve. Your gent's cologne bill is running higher this month. <laughs> well... Since I persuaded Bullard to go out with me New Year's Eve, we've been pretty busy. How's your lady friend, Miss Milford, standing the late hours? You know, you know girls, Peavy. They like to go. Yeah, that's the way it was when I was courting Mrs. Peavy. She liked to go. Sometimes I think I should have let her. <laughs> you know what that? Uh, go out more often, I mean, but uh, we didn't have much money for gadding. You know, I think you did the right thing, Peavy. If you'd taken her a lot of places, she might have met some rich fellow like Bullard and married him. Then you'd have been sorry. No, I... I guess I would. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Peavy. <laughs> oh, look at my desk. Yeah, let's face it, Water Commissioner, you're neglecting your work. Your papers are piled so high there's no place to lay my head. Yeah, I have to catch a few winks. Yeah, I might open the top drawer and lay my head in it. Nobody can see me behind this stack of papers. Yeah, oh, sure. This is more like it. You hope Mayor Terwilliger doesn't pop in today. Yeah, well, I'll live dangerously. Yes, I did. Yes. Miss Mayor. I didn't hear you come in. I was just. I was just. Gildersleeve. I was just. Gildersleeve. What are you babbling about? Yo, it's you, Bullard. Have you been sleeping? Me? No. Your eyes are red. You well, the eye strain, I guess. I was looking for a bottle of ink in this dark drawer. <laughs> oh, yeah, I didn't expect to see you until tonight, Bullard. I come with a tale of rotten luck, Gildersleeve. You? We can't go out tonight. We can't? My date has pulled up lame. 
You was that? Vicky has a blister on her heel from dancing too much last night. Well, that's too bad. I know you're disappointed, Gildersleeve. I hate to let you down, but we'd better call off our double date. Yeah, I think nothing of it, Bullard. Everybody can't stand the gaff the way we can. I'll phone Catherine and cancel everything. Yes, I guess it's the only thing to do. You wouldn't want me to share your date. <laughs> well, they do say three is a crowd. Catherine must be asleep. And this is her day off. Really? Then it's too bad she can't be entertained this evening. Yeah, frankly, Bullard, I'm just as glad we're staying home. I'm not too keen about going out again tonight myself. Oh? Hello? Hello, Catherine. This is Rock Morton. Well, good morning, Rock Morton. I heard the phone, but I was shampooing my hair. You nice. I want to be beautiful for you tonight. Yeah, well, about tonight, Catherine. If Mr. Bullard is here and tells me Vicky can't go out. So why don't we just call the whole thing off? Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, Catherine, don't be disappointed. We'll all get a good night's rest and go out again soon. Uh, wait a minute. Gildersleeve, give me that phone. Yeah? Uh, there's no use disappointing, Catherine. Lord, what are you up to? Uh, hello, Catherine. This is Rumson. Oh, hello, Rumson. Catherine, I have a corking good idea. Vicky can't go out this evening, and Gildersleeve wants a good night's rest. Yofer. Bullard. So why don't you and I carry on for the gang? He'd carry on all right. Now, see here, Bullard, I'm going to... Give me that phone. But, Gildersleeve, remember what you said. Three is a crowd. That's why I'm going. If you're with Catherine, I want to be in the crowd. <laughs> Gildersleeve will be back in just a moment. Here they are for all you folks who've longed for really perfect slices of delicious pasteurized processed cheese. Here are Kraft Deluxe Slices, eight perfect slices of extra delicious processed cheese in a neat half-pound package. Kraft Deluxe Slices are different from any sliced cheese you've ever had before because Kraft Slices are made a completely new way. Instead of being cut from a loaf, Kraft Deluxe Slices are actually formed by an exclusive new Kraft invention. And this invention captures every single bit of fine processed cheese flavor. More flavor than you've ever enjoyed before in every perfect slice. Then, so these slices of delicious processed cheese reach you in perfect condition with no dried edges or broken pieces, they're wrapped right in the spick and span Kraft plant, kept clean and sanitary and perfect all the way to your kitchen. And when you unwrap that neat package, you'll find eight generous slices, each one large enough to cover a slice of bread, so handy for quick, easy cheese sandwiches and snacks. You can keep several kinds of Kraft Deluxe Slices in your refrigerator because those neat packages take up so little room. Tomorrow, look for them in your grocer's dairy case, those perfect slices of extra good processed cheese, Kraft Deluxe Slices. <laughs> Let's get back to the great Gildersleeve. It has been said that early to bed and early to rise makes a man healthy, wealthy, and wise. Our water commissioner hasn't been getting to bed early, so he doesn't feel healthy. He isn't exactly wealthy, and he's going out again tonight, so you'd hardly call him wise. You darn that Bullard. Well, by George, nobody's going to catch this water commissioner asleep on the job. I'm going to sleep at home. You home, Miss Gilfleet? Yes, Bertie. I'm glad of it. Yes, sir. From the way you looked this morning, I thought you'd be home early. <laughs> well, I have an engagement this evening, Bertie. So I'm going in the den and catch a little shut-eye. Yes, sir. You and Mr. Bullard taking the girls out again tonight? Well, Miss Chase isn't going. That's a smart woman. Well, I wasn't interested in going out either. But Mr. Bullard wants to go. Yes, sir. And Catherine has the day off. She wants to go out tonight. Yes, sir. Naturally, I don't want them to spend a dull evening together. <laughs> so I'm going along. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, there's another smart woman. <laughs> you ready? I'm closing the den door. I don't want to be disturbed. No. Yeah, I'll be all right. I'll be able to answer the bell tonight if I get some sleep. Hey, 
<laughs> nice couch. You better loosen my tie. E, e, e. Yeah. Yeah, this is it. Yeah, this is what I've needed all day. Peace and quiet. Hey, Uncle. Oops, Leroy. I'm just going home from school. Yeah, so I hear. Bertie told me you weren't to be disturbed. Yeah, that's right, Leroy. So I come in to tell you I won't disturb you. <laughs> Very considerate of you. Unless you'd like to come outside and pass the football. No, Leroy. Okay. Care to pass it inside? Leroy, please. Let me sleep. Okay. Well, I won't disturb you. Yeah, fine. I won't disturb you if I kick the ball outside. Leroy, just leave me alone. Sure, that's the idea. Gangbusters. Oh, well, he's an active youth. Wish I had some of his energy. Well, I'll store up a little right now. Uh, uh, you was that? Auntie. Yes, Marjorie? May I come in? You go for it. Come in, my dear. Bertie told me how tired you were, and I thought you'd like some warm milk. you like some warm milk. Just put it there on the bookshelf, my dear. Well, Auntie, you'll get cold. Drink it. Oh, yes. Drink it. I... Uh, uh, He's very soothing. <laughs> Here's the glass. Sleep tight, Anki. We'll call you for dinner. Thank you, Marjorie. Yeah. You were a thoughtful girl. Just what I needed. Warm milk and a good bed. Yeah, I'll sleep like a baby. If I don't, I'll never make it through the night. Hey. <laughs> you over. Judge Hooker, what's he doing here? I have your income tax forms, Gildy. Thought I'd stop by and drop them off. <laughs> Thank you, and goodbye, Judge. Bertie told me that you weren't to be disturbed, but... Gildy, you look droopy. I don't think you're feeling well. Yeah, I'm all right. Let me feel your forehead. Judge, please. You need another blanket over you. <laughs> Judge, I just want to be left alone. I am not going to leave you like this, old friend. You're sick. You're a judge. It always helps to have someone in the room. I'll just sit here by your bed. Yeah, all right, if you insist. But sit quietly. Yeah, I'll read this book. Oh. If you have any trouble going to sleep, Gildy, you might try counting sheep. Yeah, how can I count sheep when all I see is an old goat? <laughs> Yeah, I'll just ignore him. I can't chase him out. Well, here's an amusing passage. <laughs> you said you'd be quiet. I was quiet. You laughed. Yes. Yeah. Oh, why didn't I sleep at the office? I'll never be able to keep up with Bullard tonight. <laughs> uh, thanks for helping me dress, Leroy. Yeah, I never would have made it without you. That's okay. Good luck tonight, Unc. Thanks. You'll need it. Yeah, I sure will. How are you going to see over those bags under your eyes? Yeah, all right, Leroy, don't kick me when I'm down. Are you ready to go, Anki? Yeah. That cold shower must have done you good. You look... you look horrible. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I'll sit in the dark as much as possible tonight. Well, here, let me help you on with your coat. Thanks. Yeah. Now, let me put your hat on your head. Thanks. Mm. And I'll open the door for you. Thanks. Good night, Anki. Thanks. Yeah, I mean, good night. Oh, nice of the little family to rally around me at a time like this. Yeah. Bullard's house is dark. And we're taking his car. Say, wouldn't it be wonderful if he took a nap and didn't wake up in time for tonight? Let's go, Gildersleeve. Yeah. No, 
know he's awake. Well, Throckmorton and Rumson. Hey, hello, Catherine. Good evening, Catherine. Come on in, both of you. Now get your coat, Catherine. We must be on our way. We're going to paint the town tonight a different color. <laughs> <laughs> The only color I can see is green. Just put your coats down there. We have to wait until Mother comes back from the drugstore. Somebody has to be here to answer the phone. You're all good. Everybody sit down. Say, I have a suggestion. Let's all go square dancing at the Red Bar. Square dancing? It's vigorous exercise, and they have a new orchestra. Oh, that sounds like fun. Oh, it is. It is. Give me your hand. I'll show you. Oh. Alamine, left oh, with your no. left hand, right to your partner, now right and left, Brad. Oh. Swing her high and swing her sweet. Swing that gal with the great big feet. Oh. Oh, nothing personal, Catherine, of course. Uh, country club hillbilly. Oh. That is wonderful. Come on, come on, let's go dance. Buller, don't be pushy. We have to wait for Catherine's mother. Oh, oh, yeah. So sit down. Gildersleeve, I think you're tired. Yo, no, I'm not. Well, what do we do while we're waiting? Why don't we listen to some music? Oh, let's do something we can participate in. Oh, Robson, your vigor amazes me. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Say, uh, I, I learned a new charade today. Watch me and tell me what I am. Hmm? Oh. He's an idiot. <laughs> I could never guess. Oh, of course you can. Here, I'll give you another clue. All right. <laughs> you know, I've got to do something well, to keep awake. Oh, Maybe if I sang a good loud song and clear the cobwebs. I can't think. You'd take the play away from Bullard, too. I, I give up, Rumson. I'm afraid I'm not thinking too fast tonight. Say, yeah, I have an idea. Oh? Uh, Catherine, you mentioned music. You, why don't you play the piano? Oh, yes, that's a capital idea. And I'll sing. Oh, no. <laughs> Throckmorton has a beautiful voice, Rumson. What do you want to sing, Throckmorton? Well, something loud. How about a sleep in the deep? Not bad. You hope I can get through it. Uh, just one chorus, please, Gildersleeve. Then we can get back to the charade. Yeah, sure, yeah, sure. Loudly the bell in the old tower rings Be us list to the warning it brings. Sailor, take care. Sailor, take care. Danger is near. Be beware. Beware. Yeah, I think it's helping me. <laughs> when the brave hearts are asleep. Wonderful, Throckmorton. Well, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I think staying up late has deepened my voice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Didn't you like it, Rumson? <laughs> Throckmorton, he fell asleep. He did? Well. <laughs> and in the middle of your song, I hope you're not offended. Me? No. <laughs> Just goes to show Bullard can't take it the way I can. <laughs> Where's my chair? I suppose Rumson didn't want to admit he was tired. Well, he might fall asleep. You're not me. With my constitution, I can go on and you know, on. You can go on. <laughs> Frostmorton. <laughs> Rumson. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> 
Now they're both asleep. <laughs> Aren't they cute? Still trying to outdo each other. I like Trockmorton snore better. <laughs> the Great Gildersleeve will be right back. How about it? Like to treat your folks to their favorite kinds of pasteurized processed cheese in slices so they can make delicious cheese snacks and sandwiches quickly and easily? Of course you do. So keep your refrigerator stocked with several of the five delicious varieties of Kraft Deluxe Slices. There's Kraft American that's so mellow good. Kraft American with scarlet pimentos added. Nut sweet Kraft Swiss. Kraft Brick with deep, rich flavor. And sharp old English brand. Try them all. For quick, easy-to-make cheese snacks and sandwiches, there's nothing like these perfect slices of extra-delicious processed cheese. Kraft Deluxe Slices. Thank you, Doctor, for a lovely evening. Good night. Throckmorton. Throckmorton. <laughs> you... Catherine, yeah, I must have dropped off for a second. Yes, you did. Hey, <laughs> look at Bullard. Sound asleep. He just can't take it. Come on, Catherine. Let's sneak out. We'll go to the dance with Ollie. Throckmorton, I've already been to the dance. Yes, yeah, I said we'll go to the... What's that? <laughs> Dr. Olson stopped by and he took me. I just got home. It's a quarter after 12. Quarter after 12? Oh, my goodness. Well, it's Joe's leave. <laughs> Bullard's waking up. Ah, say, I must have closed my eyes for a second. Well, well I feel better. Come on, cousin, let's go square dancing. Bullard, you've been asleep all evening. It's after 12. Oh, no, no. Catherine, how, how could I have done such a thing? Shame on you, Bullard. Here's your hat. Come on home, old man. Yeah. <laughs> Good night, Catherine. Good night, folks. The Great Gildersleeve is played by Willard Waterman. The show is written by Paul West, John Elliott, and Andy White, with music by Robert Armbruster. Included in the cast are Walter Ketley, Mary Lee Robb, Lillian Randolph, Gail Gordon, Kathy Lewis, Earl Ross, and Dick LeGrand. This is John Heaston saying goodnight for the Kraft Foods Company, makers of the famous line of Kraft quality food products. Be sure to listen in next Wednesday and every Wednesday for the further adventures of the Great Gildersleeve. Want to taste something good? Well, next time you make a cold meat sandwich, don't forget to add a little Kraft prepared mustard. For when you add a little mustard, you add a lot of tang. Every bite tastes better. Now you can get two kinds of Kraft mustard. Salad mustard, delicately spiced for those who prefer a milder flavor, and Kraft mustard with snappy horseradish added. Get both kinds. Then with every meat dish, hot or cold, just add a little mustard and you'll add a lot of tang. Kraft prepared mustard. Be sure to hear the Falcon each Sunday over this station. Check your newspaper for time of broadcast and listen next Sunday as the Falcon solves the case of the happy hoodlum. The preceding was transcribed. Listen next for Groucho Marx.